All right, so let's learn about the select statement. Now, if you're wondering what select statement is, very simply said, select statement helps you to see or read data, right? You have a table with rows, it can have multiple columns, and you wanna see what the data looks like, that's when you use select statement. And this is where we are going to spend a lot of time because as a data analyst, as a software engineer, you will be reading data all the time. You'll be reading data conditionally, you know, using different criteria for analysis and so on. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we are going to explore this particular customer table, right? And there are two ways of using the select command. You can use select star from customer. And now let's try to understand what this statement means. Select is a keyword that MySQL uses and it tells MySQL that, hey, Sujay wants to see some data. This star tells MySQL what columns I want to see in this particular table. Now star means I want to see everything. So select star means show me all the columns from this particular table. So select show me all columns from where? From the customer table. So when I do this and I click on run, I am going to see the entire data. Okay, now let's say I only want to see the customer ID. Now if I want to do that, I can remove this and I specify the column name. So in this case, the column name is customer ID. So I'm going to say select customer ID from customer and I can hit this. And as you can see now, I'm only seeing the customer ID. Now let's say you only want to see the customer ID along with the name. Again, all you do is say select customer ID comma name from customer and run. Now you can see customer ID along with name. Let's do this one more time. Let's add city. So if I want to do this, let's start from scratch. I want to see customer ID. I want to see the name and I want to see the city. So I'm going to type in customer ID. By the way, this needs to match exactly to this okay you can't have you can't have a space in between or you know it has to match exactly with the column name that's how mysql knows what you want to see so customer id comma we said the second column that we want to see is name and third is what i want to see is the city okay so now when i do this and i run i'm going to see and let's expand this. I'm going to see the customer ID. I'm going to see the name of my names of my customers, and I'm also going to see city. Now I want to show you one more command. That one more command is called the limit keyword. Now, typically you're not going to have a table that has only 16 rows, right? Think of organizations like Amazon, right? We know Amazon has 350 million plus products. Uh, if you you may if you say select star from you know amazon product table it's going to take hours for you to see the data right so the good practice is you you specify some criteria now you may also want to just get a preview of the data right you don't really want to see the entire data you just want to maybe see first five rows or ten rows to see what the data looks like especially if you're a data analyst so this is where limit comes into play so if i say select customer ID, name, city from customer, and I enter the limit command, and I, it, it asks me limit of what? So when I say limit five, it's only going to show me five rows of data. So let's do this. Now, as you can see, I can only see five rows of data. If I do limit one, I am only going to see one row of data. If I do limit eight, I'm going to see eight rows of data. And again, this is very important, right? Uh, like I said, a lot of times you only want to explore data. You don't really want to see every row. You just want to get an idea of, okay, how does the data look like? Is the data clean? Does it have null values and so on? And in that case, this limit function will be incredibly helpful.